Hi everybody, this is a new video for No Dimension channel. In this time I will show you just a proof of concept for a flume agent or Apache flume which uh, in order to, to show this powerful tool which is used to ingest data from several kind of source into a big data environment. This will be a very basic example. I decided to split this video in two, two parts, so will be two videos. In the first one, I will show you how to create an agent. Uh, remember that an agent is a, a, it consists of three parts, a source, channel, and sync. And this, this, first, this first part will show how to listen from some specific folder for new events and put that event in the screen. So, let's start defining the, co the different components of the agent, which will be named agent1, the sources, we will have just one source, named source1, the same for agent sinks, which will have just one sync, we don't need any any other sync for this example, and the channel, the channels, remember that it's plural, which will na be named channel1. And now let's connect the different, uh, the source with the channel, the, and the sync with the channel. This is very basic step, uh, source the name of the source, remember that the structure is the agent, the type of component, the source, in this case source 1, and in this case we need to connect with the channels of this, of this source, which will co be connected with channel 1, and the same for the, uh, for the sync, sinks, uh, the name for sinks, one channels we need to connect it remember the the, the basic the basic flow the, the, the events will will uh, get the sinks the sync will put this into the channel and the, the sync will pull the channel uh, to, to get new events so let's put in this way and now uh, start the the interesting part to hear uh, events uh, in the in the source, we will use a special type of source, uh, which is a spool deer. This consists uh, in a type of source, which will listen on a specific folder in this in this uh, time in a, a folder in a local machine, which is a type of the spool deer and every new file put in in this uh, in this directory will be will be listened for the source and will be sent to the channel and then the sync which will pull in the, the channel will get that new event and will display uh, in the screen and uh, remember that this is a very basic example in the real life situation we will have uh, for example, different kinds of storage like uh, HDFS or S3 or so and so on. So, we define the, the source type as a spool deer. We need to define in which folder will be the, the spool deer. So that will will be with this property name it spool spool deer. Sorry, this is. And the spool here, look at this, I will define as as relative path. I can define this path as, a, as an absolute path, but in this, uh, this time I decided put as a relative path. Relative for of what? A uh, relative of the execution uh, directory. I will show you in a while how to how to do this now let's define the type for the sync and the channel uh, this is very similar to previous step 
is in one uh, channels channel one and the type of this this channel which will be file type uh, defining in this way means that events are persisted into this ensuring durability due to uh, we will use just one channel for for the specific for this specific agent it's not needed any extra configuration but sometimes uh, you need to define more than one channel for for one uh, for one agent and it's need to define some some extra configuration and I will show you in another video how to how to deal with, with this uh, we need to define another type for the sinks remember the structure the name of the agent the, the component and the, the name of the component and the property that we need to define which is type and we need as we define it as logger. Uh, define as logger uh, means that logs, logs events uh, will be at info level. Uh, for this proof, of, for this proof of concept is okay this level of of log. Now let's save this file. I have here some some examples, but I will replace this small direct example. Now uh, look at this. As mentioned previously, I will uh, put files in this uh, specific directory, but it's not created yet. I will create in this in this folder. Uh, oh, I, I didn't mention, but this tutorial is tested or proved under Ubuntu, a specific version is 17.10 uh, uh, but you could you could try it in a different version of, of Linux maybe if you want it and I think that will will work uh, let's pull directory should be the name will be relative to the to our file and now it's time to to run our uh, property files we have defined all the needed components with we have the the property the flume property files and we we have the spool directory and let's run it with flume ng look at, look at this uh, we need to put agent define conf file conf file will be the spool spool dir example properties we need to pass the name of the agent that we that we want to, to run agent one this this is because uh, it's possible to find different agents in the same file in this case is agent one. We have just one agent defining in our from properties, and the level of the logs that we want. Flume root logger. We want to define in at info and put it on console. This will run. It will start the, the Flume uh, server and will you, you can check this information, this output information by the by the Flume server. It's a starting and configuring the different components such as the the source, the the channel and the and the sinks. It will take a moment maybe. Okay, look at this. I didn't realize about this error, but it's perfect to show you something. Uh, FluentG is notifying me that I I get wrong something in the property files, and it's related with this. 
agent I should define as agent1 and let me check if there is another error yeah here it's not channels it's just channel for the sinks for the sync property and look at this if I save the, the file FluMG will realize about the, the new change and will reload the new properties uh, it takes just a, a while a little long while maybe <laughs> but believe me should start to reload the, the new configuration oh, let me check if I save yeah I saved it okay it's just reload the, the new configuration and it seems that now is everything okay so I will create a new file into the spool div let me move there and the first example that I will show is using echo for to create just one line event and put that into a file let's put from spool here testing and send this output to a file name it dot file1txt this file will be ignored by flume or for this uh, by the source because we start with a dot a dot character this is a use as this is a common use to to ignore files which uh, are open yet and could cause error if they are processed now that I put all the information that I need into this file I will uh, rename this file moving and removing the, the dot of its name look at this now Flume will realize that there is a new uh, file or the source will realize that there is a new file and will process look at two things here once the file is processed by the source, it rename it as a dot complete, and as you can see here, the, the information was logged or the, or the event was logged into into the the screen. Uh, we have two parts, the headers. Uh, I will explain that in future, further further videos, and the body. The body has two representation. Uh, information is saved as UTF-8 and we have two parts the, the string repre representation of, of the data and the hexa hexadecimal part the hexadecimal representation which is this uh, one thing that I need to mention is that uh, the, the flume will split every line into new events let me, let me show that this is the second part of the example. I will use a similar sentence as the previous one, this echo, but I will create several lines in this, uh, in this case. Let me remove this. Let's put just line one, escape character, uh, inverted bar, M line 2 same and line 3 let's suppose that these three line these three this string is split into three lines I will rename this as file 2 and again rename it removing the dot the dot character look at this the file was processed by the flume the source sorry and the the string was split by flume into three events the first event is this and the second one and the third one yeah and look at this there is no more file 1 or file 2 txt once the file uh, is processed by the source, it's renamed uh, to 
adding dots completed which is mean that the, the, the file must not be processed again uh, and that's it in, in in future videos I will show you how to use Netcat instead to to use this way which is an inefficient way to to test your FluMG but the, the idea is show you how which uh, using a few lines in a property file you could configure a very powerful tool uh, which is which can ingest data in a in a high volume fashion and put this data into into an HDFS or a stream or any big data environment. I hope this video uh, would be useful for you. Uh, the related link is in the in the description of, of the video. And please subscribe and give me a like if you want and and share with your friend. And thank you very much for your time and see you the next time. Bye.